Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use the uh, the node editor in uh, for surfacing in Lightwave. So uh, I just have a very simple plane object here, and um, I'm going to copy this light, Control C to copy, Y to rotate. So we got some different highlights and stuff here. Okay, um, I'm going to select this plane and hit F5 to bring up the surface editor. Now, um, before if we wanted to change the color of the surface, for example and mess with it. We would have to go into here and we would just uh, click on the T for texture and then we would change the look of it and <clears throat> then we would be able to change it with that. Alright, so the node editor can do a lot more for you. So this, the advantage to this uh, texture editor is that it's like a, a Photoshop thing. As you see, you just keep adding layers and as you add these layers you can change various things about them and you can remove them and you can move them up and down. Alright, but um, it's uh, also very limiting. So let me show you how the uh, the node editor works and what the advantages are. Um, you can still use the texture editor. You can mix and match using nodes on certain channels and textures on others. Um, I'm going to enable the nodes by clicking this check box. If you don't do that, you won't see what the nodes are doing. And then I'll click on edit nodes and that will bring up this node editor window. And uh, as you can see, you can move around in this with these little widgets. All right. And all the different um, all the different items in your um, surface show up here as these little connections. And what you do is, um, in order to actually get a surface to look like something, you just click on the Add Node drop-down, and you'll see all these different nodes. So, for example, uh, if I want to make um, if I wanted to bring in an image, I would just click on this image node, and then I would connect the color from the image to that. All right. And there's no image loaded in here, so I would have to double click on that. And then I could load an image. Alright. I've got an image of a snake for some reason here. So then when I went back and, and rendered, you'd see the. Uh, of course, I, I didn't set the. Okay. I'll set to Y. And I'll set to automatically size. Alright. Okay. So that's very similar to the. Uh, the way the other editor worked. I mean, it, maybe this seems like, why would you do this? This seems like a lot more work. Um, let me disconnect this node here. You can do that by dragging on the little arrow and it goes away. And you select a node and hit delete and it goes away. All right, so I can show you that some stuff that you wouldn't be able to do in the standard texture editor. Um, let's go and add a, um, for example, we'll add a, uh, a crust material here. And I'll double click on it and uh, I'll change the width of the crust stuff up a bit all right and then I'll, I'll connect the color of the crust to the color of this and I'll connect the bump to the bump of that so you have uh, colors and bumps but now what you can do very easily is you go in and you could for example get a crumple texture and then you could change the color of the crumple texture I'll make it like a blue and I'll, I'll connect this to the uh, foreground color of this, for example. So now we have crumples inside of the crust. And I'll make another one. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a ripples. And I'll change the color of that to like a red. All right. And then I'll, I'll drag that color into the background color of that. All right. And then you can just keep going on and on. I'll, I'll drag this over here, and then I'll. I'll add another node. Um, bricks doesn't sound too good. Let's add uh, um, turbulence, for example. And we can drag that one into that. And so now we've got these very complex nodes going on all over the place here. We can just keep connecting these back and forth. And as you can see, this is quite easy to do. Um, so that is one. And then there's other nodes that... Um, do more esoteric things like multiply and divide the output of various nodes into each other and uh, you can just look in the manual for those there's just so many nodes as you can see here all the different nodes that you have and then nodes uh, listed inside of here um, just far too many for me to cover in this let me just show you uh, one other thing that I'm just going to delete these and drag this over all right, and um, another uh, advantage to this is that you have access to these materials here. 
that you can't access with the regular texture editor. For example, car paint will give you kind of a, the look of car paint. And um, as you can see, it's a material, so it only connects to the material output. If we try to connect it to the bump or the color, as you see, it doesn't let you do it. When you let go, it goes away. You can only connect it to the material. All right, but uh, you have access to these here, these materials, car paint, um, conductor, and dielectric. These are, are for doing um, glass, fast skin, and uh, simple skin does some skin shading type thing. And so these are much more powerful and give you a ton of different controls that you wouldn't have um, uh, access to otherwise. And you'll just have to play around with those uh, to get them to, to look the way you want them to look. All right. So um, that is a simple look at how the node editor works. And uh, later on, I'm going to be reviewing a book that's out right now for Lightwave that will uh, get you more in depth with it. But uh, go ahead and just experiment with it and see how it works. And uh, hope that helps you out.